Good afternoon. Good morning and good afternoon. So here, here I am again making another science video for my students, uh, grade 10. No? So this is their modules. Uh, the title of their module is quarter, quarter 2, module 15, mirror equation. So this is the third part of the three-part video we are uh, making. So the first part is this one. Quarter 2, curved mirrors, part 1, concave. And part 2 is the curved mirrors, convex mirrors naman. So, dito, sa video na to, uh, ibigyan natin ng information yung mga estudyante natin on how to derive the mirror equation and how to solve uh, mirror equation, problems in mirror equation. Okay, let's start. So, yung mirror equation natin can actually be used in both convex and concave mirror. So, siya yung 1 over F is equal to 1 over B plus 1 over U. Okay? So, mamaya tingnan natin kung ano yung, ano, yung formula. So, it can be used for concave or convex mirror. Actually, it can be also, it can also be used in, in lenses. No, this, this is a general formula. Now, looking at this uh, ray diagram, this, this is a diagram, if the students will understand this one, mas maintindihan nila kung paano na-derive yung uh, mirror equation. Now, we have the principal axis, the yellow line. We have the object, symbolizes by arrow up. That is our object. We have the C, the center of the curvature. We have the F as the principal focus, or the focus itself. And we have the P as the pole. Now, this one, this is our curved mirror. This is a concave, stated below. Okay. We have a light race coming from the object and it will hit the mirror and then it will reflect back to the focus. Okay. Another light race will hit the focus and hit the concave mirror and then reflect back as a parallel line. In that case, in that uh, reflecting light, it will form an intersection, which is this one. And then that intersection is the location of the image. Now, if we're going to draw an arrow down, it will serve as our image. It is a real image because the arrow is inverted or arrow down. Okay? So, same as if you're going to use another ray diagram, that is also the case. First is a line, a straight line coming from the top of the object. And it will hit the mirror, the concave mirror, and then it will reflect back to the focus. And then another line passing through the focus, hit the, it will hit the concave mirror, and then it will uh, reflect back as a parallel line. So in that case, we will be having uh, the location and the nature of the image. This is what we call the ray diagram. And this is also what we are going to use in derivation of the formula. So, our formula is 1 over F is equal to 1 over U plus 1 over B. So, that is the general formula. Now, what is 1 over F? What is F? What is U? And what is B in our formula? So, we are going to look at it on this ray diagram. Okay. Now, if you are going to observe this one, we have our U. We have our B. Our, our F is the distance from the focal point or focal focus to the pole. So that is our F. We already know the F. Now U and B. What is U? If you're going to observe this one, U is just the distance between the object and the mirror. Now if you identify your, your distance of the object from the mirror, so, you will have your U. That is our U. Now, our F is the distance between the focus, this one, to the pole. Okay? F. And our B is, what is this one? U. This intersection is the image. So, the distance of the image and the mirror, from the mirror. So, we have F, U, B. In other books, they, uh, some other book, they use this letter P, Q. P, Q. P and Q and F. Your P, your U is P and your B is U. So 
something like that. Okay. Anyway, it, it will not change the formula. Letters are the ones that are changing. Now, in this case, we have two different curve mirrors. We have the convex and we have the concave. Now, this means that the mirror formula or the mirror equation will not change whether it's convex or concave. It's still the same. Now, does not depend on the position of the object. The mirror formula or the mirror equation will not change even though if you change the position of the object. It does not depend on the position of the object. Kahit saan mo siya ilagay, okay lang. As long as it's in front of the mirror, walang problema. Now, how are we going to derive it? How, how did we arrive at 1 over f equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v? Now, let's go to the concept of similar triangles para mas maintindihan nyo. Okay, similar triangles. Similar if they have the same shape. Siyempre, magkapareho ang dalawang triangle if they have the same shape. Similar triangles, ratios of corresponding sides are equal. So, dapat equal ang iyong corresponding side or yung ratio ng corresponding side mo. So, paano natin papaliwanag yung ratio of corresponding side? Now, let's have this one. So, you have these two, two triangles. And triangle ABC, uh, please observe very carefully. Triangle ABC, you need to read that carefully. No? A, B, C, P, Q, R. Triangle A, B, C, and triangle P, Q, R. Okay. Now, AB, ratios of corresponding sides. AB, ratio means division, divided by PQ is equal to BC, divided by QR, equal to AC, divided by PR. Now, if these ratios are equal, then these two triangles are similar. Note guys, yun, hindi mo na kailangan kunin yung tatlo. Yung dalawa pwede na. No? Yung dalawang side lang. Pwede mo na siyang kunin. Yung pangatlo, kahit hindi na. Kasi automatic yun. Pag dalawa yung equal, yung pangatlo, susunod na lang siya. Now, another test is the corresponding angles are equal. So, kung hindi ka satisfied, kung nagdududa ka pa rin na equal yung dalawang triangle, sukatin mo yung angles. No? Try to measure the angles. Let's have this one. Angle A is equal to angle P. Dapat equal yung angle A at angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q. And angle C is equal to angle R. Now, in that case, makuprove mo na yung dalawang triangle ay equal. Okay? Ganun din ang case, no? Dalawang angle lang. Angle A, angle B, angle P, and angle Q. Okay na silang dalawa. Kasi yung third, it will follow. Kahit dalawang angles lang, sa so, dalawang triangle ang sukatin mo, it will add up. Pwede na siya. Now, similar triangles, dalawa yung klase ng pagkuprove natin. The first one is the uh, angles, corresponding angles are equal. And the third one is the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal. So, ibig sabihin may dalawa tayong klase ng pagkates. We call that as AAA test of similarity. Okay. So, tandaan nyo kasi gagamitin natin yan mamaya. Now, note this one. So, this is very clear to uh, to this video, no? Ayan. Ang pinapoint dito ay ito.
line BF ah, sorry line BP BP is also perpendicular pababa no? pababa so ibig sabihin if they are perpendicular if these lines are perpendicular to the horizontal line it will have a 90 degree angle okay first is approved now let's go to the second one triangle O A O F A pabalik tad O F A and triangle B F A now we have here an alternating angle now if you have a horizontal line kung meron kang horizontal line at nag drawn ka ng uh, slant line pa ganyan parang pa ganito now their me the measure of their angles are equal okay so vertically opposite angles ang tawag natin doon now how about the third one so sabi ko nga kanina kahit dalawang angles lang pwede na natin uh, mapuprove na natin no? so ibig sabihin the third one is also equal since these two triangles this, the two angles of these two triangles are equal the third one would be equal okay no need to prove that is equal din sigurado okay now looking at the next one so, angles yung ginamit natin ganina. Now, we are going to use the sides. Okay? Pwede na yung angle, pero iyan na natin yung side. Now, OA, so, eto naman, side naman ang gagamitin natin is the measure of the ratios of their corresponding angles are equal. So, OA, OA, divided by DP is equal to AF divided by PF equal to OF divided by DF. So, this is actually true. No? So, this is true because the angles are equal. So, ibig sabihin, the sides are also equal. The ratios of the sides are equal. Now, how are we going to use that? So, we have OAF. We have a proof. We have, we have proven the triangle OAF similar to triangle DPF. Uh, we are going to use the measures, the ratios of the side. Okay, we are going to use this one. Iwan natin yung isa doon kanina. So, OA divided by DP is equal to AF divided by PF. Now, the third side, hindi natin kukunin. Okay, mathematics is uh, a science of renaming objects. No? So, it is defined as the art of renaming objects. So, Ang gagawin natin dito is i -re lang natin yung pangalan ng mga sides para mas magamit natin sa kapaki-pakinabang na bagay. Mas maganda. No? Kasi ito, hindi natin na magagamit to ng ganito itsura niya. So, dapat i-rename natin siya. Renaming lang to ha. Now, U minus F. AF, your AF, this one, this one, AF, AF becomes U minus F. Bakit ganun? No? Bakit naging U minus F? Yung PF mo, yung PF madali lang. PF is just the distance of the focus to the pole. Kaya naging F siya. Yung PF. Now, yung AF mo, AF, yan. since your whole, your, your A to P is just U, your A to P, A to P is just U, and you have this one, AF,
Ayan. Kung hindi nyo ito naintindihan kung paano nakuha, ibalik nyo lang yung video. Now, let's go to... Now, let's prove. Now, by cross multiplication, you have f squared is equal to the quantity.
cm and then mag minus ka din sa kabila para makancel siya. So, kung nakikita nyo, naging negative siya because once na nag minus tayo sa formula pa din tayo. But then, here is another way. Pag ang height of the object and height of the image ang tinatanong, we are
ay h is equal to negative 22.86 cm times 4 cm divided